Hello, my name is Mina. I make these handbags. They come with one whip, as you've seen before, and two straps. You can turn them into a backpack, a side bag, or a fanny pack. This is the second model, the cylinder bag. It has two resin pieces on each side. This model can also be used as a sling bag or a fanny pack. This is how they open and close. Here is the resin I'll be using. These are my measuring cups and mixing sticks. I will cover my table with plastic trash bags before I start. It helps with the cleanup and you can peel the resin off of it after it's dried. Before I mix my resin, I will decide on my colors. I will use white alcohol based resin dye for white for the purple, I will use an iridescent lilac powder. In another cup, I will add two complementary colors, green iridescent and red pigment powder. It is very important to protect your skin against resin, so wear some gloves. Now, I'm ready to mix my resin. You need absolutely the same amount of hardener and resin in your mixture for your resin to cure completely. I like to check this in multiple ways. One, I use a specific resin measuring cup. Two, I check the bottles of resin to see if they are leveled off or not. Store your resin properly so it won't go bad. When you start mixing your resin, you will see ribbons happening. Vigorously mix until you see a lot of air bubbles and no more white ribbons. Now I will pour my resin into my color mixes. I use more white than other colors for this round, even less resin for the lilac and even less for the green red mix. Resin has the power to hold both pigment attributes separate but together because the weight of the pigments don't mix with each other. Instead, you can see both colors. When working with oil, acrylic or any other colored medium, this is not possible. But with resin, you are working with the weight of the substance, not the color. As the base, I will pour clear resin first. Then a ribbon of white and lastly some lilac, lilac and lastly some lilac powder. I will scrape but not mix the colors on my leather. My goal now is to have a harmonic dispersion of each element in this galaxy. I'm not thinking so much about color in this stage anymore. It's about balance of each component. The magic really happens after the resin has time to sit and cure. Then the cool separations will start to take place. I am using different techniques to get a broad mark making system on these resin faces, such as dusting the lilac powder as well as having a mixture of resin with it. Heat 
helps to get the natural flow of resin going even faster. This time I will introduce the lilac powder before even finishing the clear ba base of this piece. Since there is lilac at the top of this piece, it will cure uniquely mixed with the white pigments that are floating at the top right now.
Here is how they look after they are cured. I added some black into the one side of this as it was drying. Here's how the inside of the bag looks, though, I, sh I should mention, I didn't burn the threads, so it looks a little bit messy. But next time, I will burn the threads before showing you the bags. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you gained something that can help you in your own work. Please share, subscribe, hit the bell if you like, and I hope to see you next time. Namaste, namaste.